How's it going guys? Before we get into this week's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like it if you did, hit the bell so you get notified when we put up new videos on our YouTube channel, and as always, feel free to head on over to our website at pnwild.com, check out our merchandise and some of our blog posts. Now, roll the intro. <laughs> Here we go. This may appear to be a new look to all of you because we are standing in my new studio. Uh, with COVID-19 going on and having to diversify the way that we bring you guys content, um, I've had to build a space in my house where I can be socially distanced from the rest of the team but still produce the video content that we need to get out to you guys. So uh, I will probably give you guys a tour via our Instagram. So if you're, uh, if you're not following our Instagram, head over there. Uh, but uh, this is something you're gonna see regularly now. You're gonna see my studio space um, and we're just gonna keep rolling, keep bringing you guys content. So uh, I have an idea for today. I'm probably gonna do a little video overview of that rifle up there. It's my... Uh, it's my original hunting rifle. It's the hunting rifle that I bought when I first started. Uh, it's changed a lot in the time that I've owned it and uh, I've gotten pretty dang comfortable with it. Um, I've taken a few animals with it now. Uh, so I'll give you guys a run over of that. And as always, if there's something specific you wanna see from me that made in this, uh, in this studio um, or outside whenever we're allowed to do that again, uh, please feel free to drop a comment below and tell me what you want to see. So we are in the brand new studio over here at PN Wild East is what I'm going to call it. Uh, I live just due east of Jeffrey and the command center that is the PN Wild main studio. Uh, I promised you guys just a little bit earlier in this video that I would review my Kimber hunting rifle here. So this is a Kimber uh, mountain Ascent and I know uh, the stock doesn't look right because I have painted it uh, the finish on this rifle was like super how do you describe it like kind of a uh, like soft finish from the start um, it was it was super quiet and everything like it didn't it didn't have that sound that this uh, new high quality uh, Krylon paint job has but uh, it did, the finish did wear off quite a bit, uh, especially like right where you hold on to the rifle. Um, I shoot this rifle often. Uh, pretty much anytime I go to the range, I always make sure to shoot this rifle at least a few times at two and 300 yards. Um, I absolutely love it, but uh, the problem with the finish was it came off and it just kind of looked trashy to me. And so I decided to take the stock off. I did end up uh, bedding this action. I clearanced the, uh, the barrel channel there so that just to be sure that it was free floated because I did find the in factory form when I had it loaded on a bipod it would touch uh, right on the front of the forearm there um, but this rifle obviously probably a lot of you have seen the mountain ascent if you've looked at mountain rifles in general it is a lightweight uh, accurate rifle right sub MOA guarantee from Kimber uh, and it, I have the specs up here it has a 22 inch stainless steel barrel, a twist rate of one in eight. Uh, obviously it is a fluted barrel and fluted bolt. Um, it has a three position safety on it, which I find is pretty handy. Uh, the fat factory setting for the trigger is like three and a half to four pounds. For my taste, I found that to be way too heavy. I turned it down personally uh, to right at two pounds. Uh, that's usually where I like my triggers to be. Uh, the, the stock itself is reinforced carbon fiber. Uh, it does have a, a Packmeyer uh, decelerator pad, uh, which I find is like necessary for such a light rifle. This, is, this, this particular one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. 
so not a ton of recoil, you know, uh, and it does include a muzzle brake. Uh, I didn't add that in the barrel specs. So you're not dealing with a ton of recoil, but you know, in a rifle that the weight comes in right at four pounds and 13 ounces bare. So without the bipod, without the optics set up, four pounds uh, and 13 ounces, that is pretty dumb light. Um, I have it married up to a Razer HD LHT. Uh, this is new for this year. It is a, it's a, similar to their uh, Light Hunter, which I had on this rifle at one point for about a season. Um, but the Light Hunter does not have exterior accessing uh, ele wind or elevation adjustment. So you have on the Light Hunter, it is a capped elevation turret. On the Light Hunter Tactical, I'm assuming that's what LHT means, uh, it is a non-capped and it is exterior adjustable out of cap. Um, and I have found the tracking to be very, very good for me. Um, I have only shot this rifle combo out to 400 yards is the farthest that I've shot it. Uh, to be completely honest with you, it would take a very unique scenario for me to ever really shoot farther than 400 yards. Um, so really that's just... It's what I shoot at, that's what I'm comfortable at. Um, if I can't get within 400 yards of something, I probably just won't be shooting it. Um, but, uh, you know, I know that uh, 6.5 Creed itself gets uh, a good bit of hate. You know, there's there's always gonna be somebody hating, but uh, it, honestly, I have found, uh, I, I shoot a Federal Premium with a gold medal match, or gold medal burger, 130 grain load in this rifle. It loves that 130 grain burger. Um, it is a uh, boat tail hollow point. So I found that uh, it, within that 500 yard range, you know, it's still well over the recommended 2000 feet per second. Um, and I get like awesome expansion, great penetration. Um, my deer from this year, my Colorado buck, I found uh, not the jacket, but just the core, uh, or a piece of the core with some jacket in the opposing side rib. So it went through probably some bone, smoked the heart, and then got caught in the opposing side from the shot rib. Uh, really, me personally, that's all I can ask for from a load. So um, if you guys have any questions about the Kimber Mountain Ascent, I am happy to answer them. Um, there are obviously there this rifle kind of led the way for a new generation of lightweight rifles right this was a very early uh, early entrance into the lightweight mountain rifle kind of uh, philosophy up until this rifle came out you would truly have to build a, uh, a custom rifle with a custom rifle manufacturer to get a combination like this um, have companies come along and made lots of replications of this absolutely i'm sure they're fantastic as well uh, for me this rifle really just does it like i said i've killed a good bit of stuff with it now i've carried it a ton um, i'm super comfortable shooting it uh, you know this is one of those i really don't ever see myself getting rid of this rifle uh, I, it just it's too it's it's perfect in my opinion it's it's my idea of perfection um, you know, as with anything, any rifle, if you're gonna shoot at any range at all, especially in the mountains, you usually wanna have an anti-cant device like we have here. Um, and as always, please, please, please be sure to use very quality rings and bases. Uh, that's one point I think people often will buy a great rifle, a great scope, no matter who makes it, and then really kind of skimp out on, on the rings and bases or, or if it's a one-piece ring setup. Um, and that, uh, you know, in my opinion, is a big mistake because that's your interface between two really important items that you want to make sure is super dialed together. Um, so that's about all I got today on the Kimber Mountain Ascent, guys. But if, like I said, if I can answer any questions, please let me know. Uh, you can find us on our website at pnwild.com. We have merchandise on there. You can find us on Instagram at pnwild. You can find us on our YouTube, like you have right here, PN Wild. Uh, please head down below, hit the subscription button, 
and leave a comment. Let me know what's your mountain rifle and what caliber are you shooting this year in the mountains. Thank you for watching this week's video. Feel free to smash that subscribe button and come on back next week for that next video.